I spoke recently with TomTom's CEO, Harald Schrodein, and asked him what were some considerations when discussing and implementing AI technology, and what did the process look like? Yeah, as with all those things, it's very important to be able to distinguish the real stuff from the hype. Mm -hmm. And there was hype building up. There was a bit of a groundswell about AI and, and, and machine learning that started perhaps five, six years ago. Mm -hmm. Uh, and we had some individuals who were getting involved, and 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 we give you know we give our employees opportunities to experiment to do stuff that is not directly applicable to 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 what we're doing, but just to learn and and experience. And out of that groundswell, a picture emerged that this mm -hmm. was a technology we could not ignore, mm -hmm. and we and we and we had to uh, master this and understand the implications and start deploying it. Uh, and uh, so, out of that kind of groundswell of of initiatives, we said, "Well, this we need. This is something we need to take serious." And it's not just machine learning, but it's your whole mm -hmm. IT software uh, a landscape. Uh, you know, the, the 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 machine learning bit is is kind of the the, the cherry on the cake. Everything else also needs mm -hmm. to work. Uh, and uh, uh, but we started to take it serious. We started to have a person responsible for coordinating the efforts, for making the inventory of what was happening, for scanning the field. Uh, we attracted some talent uh, from academia, uh, from uh, other companies that formed a nucleus of uh, machine learning uh, practice. And from there out, we, we, we expanded, got more talent in, more people, more processes involved. 